Hey all, the problem that we are going to look at today is called valid parenthesis. The problem states, given a string S containing just the characters opening brackets and closing brackets of three types, determine if the input string is valid. An input string is valid if the opening bracket is closed by their corresponding closing bracket and they are closed in correct order. So if an opening bracket is opened first, it should be closed at the very end. Now let us look at a few examples. So the first example is this. This is of course a valid parenthesis because the opening bracket is closed by the corresponding closing bracket and it is obviously in correct order. There is another example this. This is also a valid parenthesis because the opening brackets are closed by their corresponding closing brackets and all of them are in correct orders. But if the example was like this. So here you see that opening bracket is closed by the corresponding closing bracket but there is another opening bracket in between them which is not closed. So they are not in correct order. Okay, So this is not a valid parenthesis. Similarly if there are parentheses like this or like this. These are also not valid parentheses because the first one doesn't meet its closure and the one doesn't have an opening bracket. Now if there is a parenthesis like this. This is also wrong because this is not the correct opening and closing bracket for each other. Okay, so that was all the examples. Now let us see how to solve this problem. So we can solve this problem with the help of a stack. We will define a stack. And suppose we take an example of a valid parenthesis. This is a valid parenthesis. We will iterate over the parenthesis from the first to last. So the first character is an open bracket and whenever we come across an open bracket, we can insert it into the stack. Okay, again, we come across an open bracket, we can insert it into the stack. Next, we come across a closing bracket. Whenever we come across a closing bracket, we can pop out the topmost element in the stack and we'll match it with the current character. So if the brackets are corresponding to each other, then we can go ahead. We'll go to the next character and we'll pop out the topmost element remaining in the stack. That is this. Okay. And this matches with this. Now we have come at the end of the string and the stack is empty. So when the stack is empty and we have gone through the entire string, that means it's a valid parenthesis. If the stack is not empty at the end of the string after going through the entire string, that means it's an invalid parenthesis. There is still an open bracket remaining, which is not met its closer. Let's understand this with the help of wrong or invalid parenthesis. Okay, so this is the invalid parenthesis. First thing we do is insert the opening brackets into the stack. Again, we'll insert this. Next thing we'll do is whenever we come across a closing bracket, we will pop out the topmost element. So we have popped out and we'll match it with this. So this should be similar. And if they are not similar, we can directly say that this is invalid parenthesis. Okay, one more thing here. If we came across this closing bracket, okay, this closing bracket, and if the stack was supposed empty, that means this closing bracket doesn't have an opening bracket. So this is again an invalid parenthesis. And I have stated this solution into English words. Let's go through it once again. So first thing is we will define an empty stack and loop over the string. This is fine. If we come across an opening bracket, okay, what we'll do is we'll insert it into the stack. That is fine. Now if we come across a closing bracket, and if the closing bracket does not correspond to the opening bracket. So if the closing bracket was this and it does not correspond to this opening bracket or if the stack is empty. So when we come back to this closing bracket, the stack is empty. Then we can return false. That means it is not an invalid parenthesis and we can do this check for all the three closing brackets. Okay. And after the loop ends, after we have gone through the entire string. Okay. If this stack has been emptied. That means the parenthesis is valid. We will return true. Otherwise, we will return false. So that is the solution in English words. I hope it was clear. And now let us try to solve this problem in lead code. If you have any question about this, please post that in the YouTube comments. Let's start the solution. What is the first thing we are going to do? We are going to define an empty stack. Now we will loop over the string S. So if I in this opening bracket, this opening bracket or this opening bracket. If the character i is either of these opening brackets, what we'll do, we'll append it into the stack. Yeah, we'll append it into the stack. Now, if i equals equals a closing bracket, suppose this one, okay? And if the stack is empty, okay? So stack equals equals this. Or if stack dot pop is not 
equal to the corresponding opening bracket then we can return false fine and this can also be written like this if not stack that basically means if the stack is empty it will return true and if the stack is not empty it will return false that is the condition for one bracket and there will be three similar conditions if i equals equals this and not stack or stack dot pop not equals to that corresponding opening bracket okay return false and if i equals equals closing bracket and not stack or stack dot pop not equals to corresponding opening bracket return false so what was the last thing in our statement after the loop ends if the stack is emptied we will return true otherwise we will return false that basically means return stack equals equals this so if we return this that means if the stack has been emptied we will return true and the stack has not been emptied we will return false now let's check if this is correct so we'll run this solution yep all the three test cases that are present have passed we'll submit this and check if it is giving a correct answer well yeah so we have got correct answer in all the test cases so now let's try to analyze the time complexity of this so we are going over the entire string only once so the time complexity is big o of notation of n and where n belongs to the number of characters in the string and the space complexity is big o notation of n in terms of time complexity i don't have a better solution but using a dictionary i can still improve the readability of the solution how let's try to do that okay so what i will do is the key of the dictionary will be the opening brackets okay and the value will be their corresponding closing bracket so let's do that so this is the key of the dictionary and this is the opening bracket and the corresponding closing bracket and the third bracket is this the opening bracket and the corresponding closing bracket okay so now we have a dictionary so instead of this we can just write if i in di dot keys which also equals to if i in di so if i in di we'll just check if i in this i belongs to this or this now we don't need three elif conditions here we can remove this and what we need instead is we can write elif slack is empty if the slack is empty we can return false other way of writing this is it's not stack okay so if not stack we can return false and i not equals to so if the characters are opening brackets we have directly appended into the stack but if the current character is a closing bracket so suppose the current character is this okay and if di stack dot pop so the last the topmost element in the stack okay is this the topmost element in the stack is this so its corresponding di element will be this one right and the current character is this so this doesn't equals to this if this doesn't equals to this we can return false that means it's not a valid parenthesis and at the very end if the stack at the very end is empty we will return true if not we can return false so you can look at this solution and let's try to run this first and check if there are any errors okay so there is some error okay let's see oh there should be or okay so if the stack is empty or if the topmost character opening character doesn't correspond with the current character we will return false it should not be and it should be or okay now let's check this once more and now we have got all the three test cases correct okay let's try to submit this and this is again accepted that means all the test cases are correct so this is the current solution and the previous solution was this and you can see that we don't need so many conditions with the help of a dictionary so that is how you can solve this problem valid parenthesis if you have any questions about this problem please post that in the comments and thanks for watching